Okay, let's get ready to paint. Okay, we're gonna be using a 16 by 20 prime stretch canvas. And also, our, our acrylic paint is titanium white, cerulean blue, black, cad yellow, primary red, hooker green or green, and burnt sienna. And also the brushes we're gonna be using is the uh, number 12 flat synthetic brush. It's about one inch wide. A number six round synthetic brush. A number one round synthetic brush. And a small script liner that's synthetic also. That'd be using for details. In our paint today, uh, also, we, well, let's see, we're going to need a, a cup of water or a container of water. That's to clean our brushes out. A uh, spritz bottle. And this will be used for uh, keeping our paint wet, especially on our palette because our acrylic tends to dry. And also a paper towel to clean our brushes with. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to, I can't, okay, our, our painting today is called Road to Cast Wind, and it's, it's an October painting, and it's uh, sort of a, like a, uh, it's got some pumpkins in it, and a type of castle, and a cat, and a tree, and sort of like a moonlight glow. So let's get started. I'm going to take some white, take some white on my brush, and some water, get it nice and wet. And about, about a third way down, it'd be the top of a circle like. And it's off, here's the center. And here, here's the third way down, going across. So I just make it like a circle with wet paint, my wet paint. And that's gonna get my moon started. And if you just go like that, swerve your brush like that, it could get pretty round. It don't have to be perfect. Then also we want to get some more white and put some more around there. Getting our background covered with some white because we're going to be adding blue there. And we want that blue to blend. So we're just going to go in circles like. More white, go fill up the area right here. Going in a circle motion. Make sure your brush is wet with the wet paint so it don't dry real quick on you. You have to keep your brush flowing. Okay, now let's take a little bit of blue. And we sort of want to start here at the edge of the circle. And go around. Don't go in the go on the edge on the outer edge right here and use your blue. And mix in with your white, see. See how it mixes in with your white? And then we're just gonna slowly, gradually get to the middle. Don't get don't put your dirty brush in the middle now, leave it white. Just stay on the outer edges and go in as you go in. Whoops. I did that real good, didn't I? That's how it happens. But see, I'm still getting my moon glow right there. And I want to leave that white because I want to be painting that another color here after it's blue dries. Okay. All right. Now we got the lighter color in there. Let's take a little bit darker blue and a little, a little bit of white on my brush, mix it in with the blue. And we're going to go out here on the outer edge, and it's going to be darker. And we're going to keep that on the outer edge, just like that. More blue, a little bit more white on my brush like that. Come around here, and it gets darker. And we just want to keep that flowing like that. Let it slide in a little bit to the white. But keep that outer edge dark. Gradually make work it into your lighter color there in the middle. 
See how that graduates out like that? That's what we want. Now we want to make it even darker. So I'm going to take my blue and just a, just a little bit of tad of black. And I'm going to go here on the outer edge right here. See, see the color? See how dark that got? We want that. And we're going to do the same thing, get some more blue, just a tad of black. Just a tad of black, see that? I'm going to come around the outer edge and it's going to be darker. And you can let it come in a little bit, not much, and, and let it graduate. Don't, don't get in there, okay? Stay on the edge. Let's take the same, our dirty brush. We're just going to establish a horizon line. And let's say, say right here is about halfway. So we want, here's halfway, then we come down here, and that's about where we want at. We want our horizon line about right here. So let's just go across and make our horizon line. That's where we want it. Make it a little bit straighter. It, can, it don't have to be real straight, it can be like a hill like. But that's where our horizon is. Now I see I gotta come down here with my blue a little bit, which I can do that. We'll just uh, darken that up a little bit, fill that in. Fill that in there. Okay, we have a plan here. Maybe I'll put some dark right here so I can see my horizon line. We have a hill here. That's okay right there. Okay, now what we can do now, let's go ahead and fill fill this with black paint here. Just fill it with black paint. Use your dirty brush. We haven't cleaned the brush yet, folks. We have not cleaned the brush yet. So we just fill that in. Because this is where the ground's gonna be at. More black paint. You can put some blue with you want, just to make yeah, that'll work. Okay, get that filled in right there. Using the same number 12 flat brush. We haven't changed brushes at all. And we're getting our background painted. Getting ready for the fun stuff. Okay, let's see. Down here, get that painted. Get this painted right here. I mixed up some colors there, that's okay. I'm just filling in the canvas. Okay, now let's uh, take our black paint. We're going to use our same flat brush, big brush. Stay in the black. And what I want to do is I want to establish my tree. We get an idea where my tree's at. Okay. I'm going to use a brush like this. See how flat that is? See it? We want to take this straight in on. Okay? Straight in. We'll go right up here. And uh, here's where our moon's at. So we want our the base of our tree to sort of be right here. Okay? So we, we'll, uh, we don't want it to be straight. So we're going to go up here real light and just come on down. Just make a line right here, and we have a tree, see. Then we could build our tree on from there. Okay, we come on down, make it a little bit wider. A little bit wider there. Use our black. We can make this main branch here a little bit wider yet. Because that's the main part of the tree. We sure want this to be a big tree, okay? Big tree. There, now we got a, an idea where that's at. Next step, okay? We gotta make this a little bit yellow right here. We don't wanna get in the blue or we're gonna have green, okay? So clean your brush. 
And let's take, uh, let's clean our brush real good. Dip it in some water, wipe it, get it nice and clean. Because we're gonna get in our yellow and our white. Okay, now I got my wet brush, I got my white paint, okay? See that? I got the wet paint. I'm gonna take some yellow, okay? Take a little bit of yellow. Just put a little bit, of a dab on my brush right there. I got white and yellow. Now I'm gonna go in the middle here where, the, where my moon's at. Don't wanna come into my blue, I'm gonna go right in the middle. See how that is? I just want to shape it, get to get my moon out there. Just come right on the edge of my white there. Blend it till it's real smooth. So it just sort of like you can't tell where the edges are at. It just blends it so smooth. There we go. Now we can work on our tree again, but we got to let that dry. And another thing that I didn't mention, okay, I have, a, I have a hair dryer here. Now we can go to the next step. And the reason why I wanted to get this moon, the yellow part of the moon in, because we're getting ready to put a tree branch over here, because that's where our cat's going to be at. Number one round brush, okay, that's, that's number one round. Get in my black paint, gets nice and not thick, but sort of creamy. A little bit runny. Get it nice and see. Now I'm gonna make a twist it, make a little point like that. See. Now I want my branch to be about right here, so I don't want to go up here because my cat. I want my cat in the moon. So here I am, I'm going to follow my lines right here, I'm going to go right here and just gradually, I need more paint, it's not wet enough. And just wiggle it, okay? See how that is? And my paint's going to run right there, so I got to get that up there like that. Okay, I got to, I want to make it a little bit bigger branch. So we come right out here, wiggle. Don't be afraid to, it's an old crooked branch. Sort of makes it scary. A little bit more maybe. Got to get that cat something to set on. Okay. Make it a little bit thicker maybe, come up here. Wow, that looks like an old gnarly tree, huh? There. Okay, now we can go up and form our other branches. Take some more wet paint. I'll come up here, make another, uh, let's go right up here. Just, just play with it, okay? Yours gonna look a bit different, but it's all right. You know, you're just making some gnarly branches. You come all up here, okay? Maybe you want one to come up here. Maybe uh, one sticks out. Oh, here's one. Let's, let's go back up here and bring this in out here. Okay. Some of these are going to get covered up because we're going to put leaves on them. Let's go right down here. If you think it's going to run, take your finger and just push up on it. Okay. Down here, maybe one comes up here.
I want to make my, my tree trunk a little bit bigger and you can work on that as you paint. See things you want there. That's what I want right there. Okay. Let's do one right here. Do another one here. And maybe do a, uh, let's bring this one up here like. You're just using this brush and uh, when you, you start out sort of heavy, push it sort of heavy and then you just lighten up on your touch on the brush. So I, I'm taking it heavy and I'm just lightly, almost I'm ready to take the brush away and just keep going till, there, till it goes to nothing. And I, this right here, I don't, too, too gnarly for me so I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Here we go. I think that looks pretty good. Make that a little bit thicker. I think we can bring one right up here. Sort of like broken off. Oh, yeah. A little bit thicker there. Looks pretty good, I think. Looks raggedy, gnarly tree. Okay, now we got that started. Got that going. And let's take a five minute break here and let this dry. Or you could use the, the hair dryer, like I'm going to do and dry my tree. And if you got something to do a, a refreshment, I got an iced tea here. It's pretty good. Okay, our next step, I think, is uh, we want to establish our our castle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take number one round. It off and I'm going to take some black and I want to establish the uh, the shape of my castle so here's my horizon line basically right here okay so you see see where my branch is I want to sort of like establish about right here okay so if I if if I see the bottom of my tree right here, okay, if I'm going across here, I want to stay well below that branch. And I want to sort of uh, bring it over this way a little bit. So uh, let's, let's, let's sort of like right in the middle right here almost, right in the canvas. So I want to make a, just a triangle. See that triangle? And fill it in. Want to be a nice point, okay? Now I'm gonna come down, make a box, okay? Come down here, make a box, and it can come in slightly. Just fill that in. Got the triangle made. Now you're gonna put a box right below it. Paint it in. And it don't matter if it, you don't have to do anything down here because we're going to add fog down there. Now, next thing we want to do, we want to shape our, our roof. So we don't want to go this way. We, want, we sort of want to go down, down with the roof. Okay, watch. See that? Okay, now we want to fill that in.
want to come down here and fill this in right here. Put another square box right here. You can leave that line right there. Don't fill that in. That'll give you a, like a mark. Okay, now what I want to do now is we want to establish a... Let's take a little bit of our red. Need, don't need to clean the brush. We just want to establish our roof line here. So we're going to take our red and come down here. This is just temporary. Take our red and come down here. Go fill that in. Come down here. Take our red. Now we take our black down here. We got our roof line established. Okay. See how easy that is? Take a little bit more red. There. Now you can take a little bit more red right here, and this should be dry. Just follow the wrist rip line right here. There we go there. Now we're gonna make our uh, we're gonna make our towers. And see, that's not perfect, but that's good because it's a Halloween effect, you know. You don't want it to be perfect, okay? It's only paint. <laughs> it's only paint and a brush, so there's no loss, you know. We're going to make our tower. We're going to start this other tower. We're going to put the, a line right here, right, right toward the edge right here. Go across, okay? We got that tower there. Then we're going to come down. Come down there. That's okay if the brush has got red on it yet. We're going to fill that in. So there's one tower. Okay? There's one tower. So we're going to make it sort of straight. Okay? Like that. We got one tower in. Next, we're going to do the other tower, square, and we're going to make this a little bit lower, okay? Go and put that about right here, a little bit lower, and we're going to bring that down. It don't matter down here. Don't worry about down there. We're going to cover some of that up. So now we've got our other tower, okay? Clean, just brush it in a little bit. Don't have to be perfect. Some of the blue comes through, that's okay. Okay, now we got the one tower started there. Now here's where we gotta be extra careful. We're gonna start making our points to the towers. Okay, these are gonna be a little bit taller. Okay, gonna go in that white, black and red. Black and red. Now here we go. I'm going to go above, see where I'm, the top is my uh, castle? I'm going to go above that a little bit. So that's going to go about, and I want to center it right here in the middle, about right there. See that little dot? See the dot? Now I'm going to come down here and make a triangle. Make sure you don't get no paint on you. Oops, I just did. Then we're going to come up here and follow this other down here, make the other triangle. Make that come to a point. Now you got your triangles in, okay? Now we're going to come up here. Let's make a nice little point up there. Now, sort of see how that's going to affect your cat up here, okay? 
Now we're going to put the other triangle in. That's going to go you a little bit lower. Take some black and red. And then we're going to put this in just a little bit lower. Okay. Going to start right. See the middle right here? Here's the middle. I'm going to put it right about here. Okay. And we're going to come down here with this tower. And so we're going to go right in front of that. Okay. And we're going to bring bring it down some. I didn't get it up high enough. There you go on that. Okay. Now let's uh, let's place our cat. Our cat. Make sure this is dry right here if you, you're afraid. The cat's just a couple oval round marks. That's all. So if I go up here, I'm going to go right here with the cat. Right here. I'm going to go just a little bit. Just like an oval. Okay. Here's the oval. Here's my cat. I'm going to put a little round head on him. Just a little round head right there. See that cat? Okay. Now I'm going to come over here and he's got the hind legs right here a little bit. Just comes out. Looks like he's sitting down like that. Okay, now let's put some little ears on him. Just a little, touch a little bit. There's some ears, okay? We got that. Now a scrawny little tail. That's all we're going to do, a scrawny little tail. We're going to come down here. Here's his little tail. I got some red in there, but that's all right. Make his little butt right here a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna take some white paint. And fill it up with white paint. Now I sort, you get the white paint on there, wipe it off like on your, on your plate. Okay, I got styrofoam plates. Okay, I'm just, I'm just wiping it off. So I don't want it real wet. Then, you can probably even take some, your paper towel, and wipe some off in your paper towel. Because you don't want your brush real wet, you just want the white there. We're going to establish our foggy area. And we can start, actually, we can start over here. And see, now that's too wet. So I'm going to clean my brush off completely with the towel. I'm going to wipe it off, not in the water, just the towel. Now I'm going to get a, go down here and still wet, okay? Wipe some more off, completely dry your brush off. And scoop this brush flat. See how flat I am? Just making the mist. And lightly go at the top. And then as your brush runs out of paint, get some more paint. Come down here right below the line there. Now clean your brush. Get some more paint and go up there. Do some more. Take a little bit, just lightly go up. Don't worry about down here. We're going to cover this bottom up with green. But we just want to get a mist. See how that mist is? I'm scrubbing. I'm scrubbing the brush. See, can you hear it? I'm scrubbing this. It's really fun. And uh, bring it over here. Bring it over here if you want. Bring it up here. See why I wasn't worried about the, the castle right here? 
because I'm going up there, I'm covering up the bottom. You cover up your mistakes, okay? If you don't like it, just cover it up with something else. That's the good part about acrylic. Instead of oil, it dries fast, and you can start fixing your mistakes. But that's not really a mistake. <laughs> okay. Now we sort of got that done, which is neat, okay? Now let's work on... Uh, our tree should be dry. Okay, we can work on the, on the tree while that while this is drying here. Let's work on the tree. Clean your brush. Clean your brush. Wipe it off. Okay, wipe your brush off. How you doing up there? <laughs> Here's my other camera. I. It, this is hard to do. I'm in my garage. And I got this all set up so I can show you guys how to do a painting. And uh, it's fun. It's a little bit different. Uh, a little bit different teaching a class because you're, you're like teaching a camera. But I know you're in there. I know somebody's in there watching this show. <laughs> it's just a fun way to uh, do the afternoon. And uh, let's, let's start on the tree now. I'm going to take... Clean my brush already. After I clean my brush, what I do is I, I put it back in the water and get it nice and wet. Then I lay it down on my paper towel. So now I'm going to take my little liner brush. This thing is a little, okay? I don't know if you can see it. See it there? See it up here? See how little that is? <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to take my liner brush, get it nice and wet. I'm going to go in my black paint and get nice and, oh, something like ink, a little bit like ink. I'm going to wipe, roll it in my paint, get nice and wet. Now I'm going to make some uh, smaller branches here coming off the other stuff. So I'll go up here, maybe just go like that, okay? Can't do that with the number one brush. But you can do it with this, and just make some little swiggly lines coming out of your out of your branch here. I will make that a little bit darker there. But there, just just makes all these squiggly lines like on a tree. And you just keep doing that. Enjoy enjoy the moment, you know. But maybe I'm gonna put one up here. Okay, maybe up here by the kitty cat. Bring this branch out a little bit further like that. So I got a nice little point to it. I don't want to take away from the cat. I can probably put one down here. Keep your brush nice and wet and you had to fill it with, with uh, paint every once in a while because it would start drying out on you. Okay. See how that is? This is fun, folks. Just fun. Just enjoy the moment. We'll go up here. Now, if you hear talking, <laughs> I'm in my garage, and people could be walking by or working out in the yard. I live in town, so uh, that's just the way it is. So, this is the best setup I can do right now, and it's working for me. So, maybe I can tell you all the equipment that I got. I'm not, I don't get expensive equipment. But I get what I, I could use and what's going to work for me. And so far, I think this is going to work fine. It's going to work fine. Just keep on putting some branches out here. Take it up there. Put one up here. Just enjoy it. And we're going to take our, our number one round brush again. And I'm going to come over here. 
take some more black paint and I'm going to come over here and about right here I'm going to make another tree about right here it's not going to be as big but just sort of bring it up right there okay Bring up right here, right there. Okay, we got a little tree there. Okay, here we go. Got that part done. May I put a branch right here? Now I want to take take my liner brush, put your number one in your water, clean it off a little bit, set it on your towels, leave it wet. Take my liner brush and we'll do the same thing over here I did with that big tree. I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to make some little squiggly lines. Got that part done. I'm going to take a little bit of blue, okay? A little bit of blue, a little bit of black. Sort of went dark, like a dark, muddy blue. So I'm going to come over here on the, my light's coming from over here by the moon. So I'm going to make this a little bit darker light, put some blue. It's going to create like a, a shadow effect. And I'm just coming up here and just touching different areas. I can probably come up here, come up here a little bit, up here, just tapping. Don't have to go all the way up. But sort of takes a, a shadow type effect. Okay, come down here. Now, I'll do the same thing over here. My moons come from over here. I'm going to come over here, use my same dirty brush. Just come down here. Hard for me to see with the light right there, but I'm just going to come right there. There, that's it. Now, I'm going to take my same brush, wipe some of the blue off. Now I'm going to go into my, uh, I'm going to go into my burnt sienna right here. My burnt sienna, a little bit of my black. So I sort of want it to be a dark burnt sienna. See, I got the color there. It's a dark burnt sienna. I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to go on my some strokes down, up and down. I don't want to make a complete straight line. I just want to make some strokes here. It gives the insinuation that there's bark there. And you go, don't come into your blue too much. Uh, if, you, if you do, we first come back and get some more blue. But I want to come on down and just tap it. Just bring little strokes down on my tree. See that? Come up here. And I'll do the same thing right here. Come up by the cat. Okay. Great. Do some up here. And I put some down here right below the tree line. This limb right here. Put some right here. Maybe if I want to. If you go beyond your line there, it's okay. Just make sure you fix it a little bit. I'll put some right here. Okay. Put some right here. Now I'll go over here. Now it's over here. I got the on the left side of the tree because my light's coming from there. I'm going to hurt the left side. Really hard for me to see there. I'll put some blue or brown. There we go. Now, now I want to take a little bit lighter brown, okay? Take a little bit lighter brown and maybe mix some white with it. A little bit of white, make it a little bit lighter. 
Well, we could take actually the same color brown and not put any black with it. Just use the use that brown there. Now we're gonna come down here on this side of the tree. It's gonna be a little bit lighter. I threw your lights hitting it right here. A little bit lighter. Just come up to the top here. Now if you hit your cat a little bit, don't worry about it. Well, you can cover that back up, okay, because it's black. Come right here. See how that lightening everything up over here, and your dark stays dark. It's, it's just fun. It's an old gnarly tree, man. Just ta tap it. Okay. And put some right here, too. Put some right here. Just a little bit. Let's establish our path. Okay, we're going to establish our path, and our path is going to be, we take some of that brown paint, and we know the, we know the, the castle door is going to be about right here, so we can just take, and take our path, and just draw a line, however you want it. And then you make it a little bit wider, fill it in. Like that, okay? All you're doing is establishing a path. And now we're going to take a... You ready? Don't be afraid of this big brush. Take our, take our big brush. That's that number, number 12 inch flat. Dip in water and wipe it. Now we want to get in some of this green, okay? Get, now if your paint, let me show you something here. If your paint gets a little bit, you got to keep that paint wet, okay? I got this little mister bottle here. So every once in a while, give her a little spread. Don't get on your painting and keep your paint wet, okay? And don't take a whole lot, okay? Don't, don't get it all where you can't paint with it because it, it break down. I'm going to take some of that green paint where this black is. We're going to go over here and just uh, lightly go over top the black. And when I mean lightly, I mean I'm just I'm just barely touching this ground, and I'm letting that black come through because I don't I, I don't want it to overpower. It's like a shadow effect. Got a little bit more there than I wanted to, but that's all right. Take a little bit more water, and let's go over on this side. Just paint it right, right through it here. Now you can go right, go just above there too. In that, in that fog, it sort of makes it, the fog look like it's coming into the grass like a little bit. And then come up to your tree, and you gotta put some right here too. Now, you don't wanna stop your tree, so you might have to go over your tree a little bit, but then you can fix that up later. Take some more green here. Put some more green right here. Now see I got too much green, I'll take a little bit of black. Just rub it in there. All the way down. Fill that in. See that black coming through? That's your friend, <laughs> believe it or not. A little bit of green, maybe a little bit of black. Put a black here. Sweet. Now I'm going to come down here, here. I'm going to put some black here because that's too green for me. See, I covered up my path a little bit. That's okay. We want that. That's okay. And you can come back here and paint your sides here too where, where the green's at. See, just paint your sides. It's all right. Then we got to let that dry.
So far we got our tree highlighted. We got the trunk in, got our castle blocked in, we got our fog in, we got our green down here in. Uh, we're going to put a, a rock in here yet. And we got to put our we got to put a fence along here. And also let's put some leaves up here. Now look, we're going to take our leaves and we're going to do that with a uh, the number one round. Use the number one round. And we're, gonna, we're we want the leaves to be dark, but we don't want them to be black. We just sort of want to be neutral black and green. So I'm doing. I'm just taking some of my black. I'm starting to run out of black, but I'm going to dip it in my green. Get little strokes here, and you can make a make it darker. I'm get my brush nice and full, so it's a, like a dark, dark a dark army green, olive green. That's what you're going to call it. Got my brush full. Now I'm going to come up here. So here we go. I'm going to start at the top. Don't stay in one place, just go all over the place. Get some nice leaves here. You're just dabbing different places, moving your brush around, turning it. Don't want to put any down here by the tail. Don't want to do that. See? Got all this negative space. But see what happens? It starts feeling good. And you keep doing it, and you keep doing it. Then you get to the point that, oh, I shouldn't have done all that. I like to bear the other way. Well, sometimes it's too hard to change unless you paint over it. But I think, uh, I think I want to sort of fill in the top right here a little bit. Okay, now we have our tree established, we have our leaves on there, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take our black, we got to put a hole in the tree, hear the dog? Now I'll take our black, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to come right in here, right about here, and it's going to make a mark. Sort of almost like a teardrop, like that. That's all I'm going to do, okay? Make it blacker. Looks like a hole in the tree there, don't it? Now we got to let that dry. Okay, let's establish some pumpkins. We're going to take a... Uh, let's take... Some red and black. All I want to do is get, a, get an outline. We're going to uh, put a pumpkin right beside this tree right here. So we're just going to make a, a round circle. And I'm just establishing a color here just so I could know where I'm, I have a pumpkin at. That's all I'm doing. That's going to be a couple pumpkins. Now while I'm at it over here, I'm going to establish a couple rocks. I can use the same colors here. I'm going to establish a, that's on a hillside, okay? So I'm going to put a hillside right here. A tree's on a hillside. Just going to bring that hillside right down. Mix it in. That's all. Scrub my brush right in here. There. I'm going to take some of my white paint and uh, get my black. So I make a grayish color. I'm going to come up here and establish a rock top top of my rock. Just going to come right here. There's the top. That's a rock. Okay. And I can even put one right here in front of the tree if I want. OK. 
Okay. That establishes the rock. Then after you got, I'm going to take some brown. It'll be a white. Now I'm going to establish another rock right here, right below it. I'm going to come over here with the brown. And he's going to come right across here. There, like that. You know, take a little bit of white in my brown, a little bit of white in my brown. Go over the top of top here a little bit. Sort of establish a highlight. Same right here. Establish a highlight on the rock. Oh, look at there. There's a mistake waiting to happen. I'm gonna take my green paint, and go back over it. Easy fix. There we go. Fix it. Get some black paint. Okay. Make it nice and flat. I'm going to come down here right below my rock. See? Establish a rock right there. We're going to make some highlights in here, okay? I'm going to take some yellow in my green. Yellow and green. I want to make some lighter colors. Sort of like the moonshine on the grass a little bit. I got yellow and green. And I'm going to come real lightly over here. Real lightly on the edge of my brush. Get that moon highlight on here. There. A little bit of light right here. And as you look at your painting, you see where you need your light. I don't know why that... My uh, paint must have been... See that? Now, that little spot right there, that bothers me. But what happened, I must have hit it before it was dry and went through the canvas like a little bit. And it's hard to clean up, but you have to let it dry before you can fix that. You can cover it up, okay? Now the next step we're going to do, take some white and some of your red purplish color. We want to highlight the top of that roof again. So I'll make a pinkish color. And we want to come up here. Be careful. Uh, you might want to dry this first, but I'm going to just come up here and now you touch that part. And just tap. It sort of looks like shingles a little bit. But it's just getting in, in, the, the feeling that there's shingles there. I mean, your eye will make, your eye will make you think there's shingles there. Do you want to come too far down? Maybe we've got a little bit too much. Take a little bit of black. Clean that up a little bit. There we go. And same up here. Same up here. Take a little bit of a Highlight here. A little bit of highlight here. And we'll take a little bit of, take a little bit lighter there. Okay. And we're going to make right here the roof line. Here we go.
Okay, we've got something established right there. Now we can take a, let that dry a little bit. Let's work on our tree here. We take our little liner brush, our liner brush. We're going to take that. And we're going to take uh, some light brown, white. Hear the dog? It's a neighbor's dog. We're going to take some light brown and go here on the edge. We got to make that edge of that bark here. Okay, make it brighter. So it looks, you can see the, uh, I'm just tapping, making some lines straight down. So it looks like the tree's cut out right there. It's rotted out. And put a little bit right here. Now we can add a little bit more highlight here. Make it a little bit brighter. Right here, here. Take your finger, wipe that off a little bit. Okay. I think I'm ready to put a fence in, I think. Put a fence in. So, we're going to put a fence right here going across. And all we're going to do here, we're going to take our liner brush, take some black, okay our path is right there so we're going to take a, we want to go right above the, the line here so we follow right here. See that? Nice straight line. We're gonna make our our fence. Now I, I don't want it to I don't want it to be all the same height. I want it sort of like it's going back in the distance. So we'll just put a little line right there. So we know that's gonna be bigger than this. So as, as we go across, we're gonna follow that guideline. Now if I would have uh, if I would made this dark green or if I would come down here at the fence, you wouldn't be able to see it, but with this fog here, that fence pops out and adds to the flavor of this painting because that's adds to that spookiness, spooky. So as we go along, we're going to make another fence line here. Don't have to be straight. Another one here. Okay. I'm going to put another one right here. And as I go down here, they're going to get smaller and closer together. Okay. See that? Spooky man. <laughs> this is pretty good. Now, we want to put another one right here. See, our path is right here, so it's going to go through that fence, like, make that a little bit bigger. Now we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a line right here, where it's going to go right behind the rock there. Then we're going to come right here, put another one here, here. Remember that spot I had? I'm covering it up. See that? You can do these. See how that goes back like that? That is cool. Now, it's a silhouette of a fence. And that black really. Now we're going to follow a line right going right across here. So we're going to, going to follow a line right across here and just keep on real lightly. Get your liner brush, and it has to be very thin paint. And you have to bring it to a point. Again, you have to take this paint and bring it to a point. Roll it. You have to roll it, okay? And you come up here. And you just go right, very lightly touch it. 
very lightly. And you come down here and put another line right here. We get another line on this fence right here. And just come right straight across. Like that. See? Do the same thing over here. Come over here. You're going to follow your fence line right down there, right below the top. Goes right there. Okay. Now we're going to go another one right here. Another one right there. Follows along. Barely see it. Now we got a fence line established. I'm going to make that a little bit darker. A little bit bigger there. Okay. All right. This is crazy stuff, man. This is fun. Now, can we work on our pumpkins? I think what we're going to do is our next step. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to take the blow dryer. I want to make sure I got this dry because if, if you get up here and start touching the painting with your hand and get it wet, then you go up here and accidentally hit a lighter area. Rough. <laughs> it can be fixed, but take a little time to clean it up. But that's the good part about acrylic paint. It dries real quick and you can cover it up. Oil is a little bit different, but oil you can sort of blend it away like. But that's another story. I love oil painting. And eventually I want to get some more red in here, but let's dry this up and take a break. Let's take a break. I'm going to take a, got my brushes in the water. Brushes are in the water, see? Got to keep them wet. Don't want them to dry out. That acrylic paint will ruin a brush if it dries out. Drink some of my tea. Okay, I'm back. Just had a little bit of a lunch break. And let me show you where we're at so far. I did a little extra work uh, while I was off here. I uh, cleaned up my castle here. Changed the highlights a little bit. And uh, let's see what else did I do. That's about it. I, I just cleaned up my castle here. Made a little bit more straighter lines, clean, cleaner lines. And so now we're going to do the next step. I think what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to start putting windows in this castle. Number one round brush. Take the number one round brush. And I'm going to go into uh, some white paint. Go into white paint. And get my brush full of white paint here. And I'm going to start putting my windows in. But for my yellow to show up in the, on the dark color, I need to put some white over it first. So let's start that. I'll start with the tower. Up here in this tower right here, I'll put a little, little mark right there. Okay, then we'll go down here in this tower, and I'll put a mark right there. It's just a little dash. Holding your brush down, putting a little dash in it. And a car's gone by, but that's okay. I'm in my garage. So here we go, using the little brush again with the uh, white on it. Now I'm going to go up here in the top of my uh, castle here. I'm going to go right here and we'll put a little mark. Then I'm going to go right here, sort of right across from where the two roof lines across from each other. I'm going to go right, just right above them, put a mark there. Put a mark here in the middle, and we'll put a mark here on the side. Just like that, we have lights. Now I'm going to go on the side. Now castles, uh, I served over in Europe, and uh, there's a castle, New Schwarzstein Castle, and it had a lot of windows in it. And so I think on the norm, castles have a lot of windows in them. At least we're going to have a lot of windows in this one. So here we go. I'm going to put more windows on the side. I'm going to put uh, one right here. I'm going to put one over here. One here. 
one here, one here, and another one right here. So there's a lot of windows there. I got one more window to put in right here for the bottom of the tower here. I'll put that right there. Okay, now let's uh, see what our next step is. Well, here's one I'm going to go and clean my brush out. Okay, clean the brush just like that. Clean it, take my paper towels, squeeze the excess water off of it. Okay, now I want to, uh, I got a tree over here, and it's right here, and I want to bring it, I want to bring that tree down here. I don't want it up there. I want to bring it down here so it sets stuff more in the back. This brings this tree in the front. So I'm going to take my little white, or my little uh, number six uh, round brush. Come think of it, it's my number one round brush, my number one round brush. And I'm going to go into my black for now. And I'm going to start this tree right over here, and I'm just going to bring it on down. I want that tree on down there. And I'll bring it right down here. Make it a little bit wider here. I just brought that tree right up front. You can move a tree. Paint it in. Fill it in here. Maybe I'll bring it down here more. Add some more black. Okay, now I just brought that tree right up front, and maybe I want to make it a little bit wider here. There, a bit wider there. There, I think that's going to work. Now I'll take a clean my brush off of water, wipe it off a little bit, and I'm going to go into my green. Go into my uh, Hooker's green, I'm going to, right here where the black's at, I'm going to just put some uh, paint along here. So I want to set that tree back in here. And that acts like a little bit of a shadow like. So that's what the hooker's green, just darkened everything a little bit. I, mean, I don't want to say darkened, but it, it sort of blends that tree right in. There. Now let's see what we can do with that grass. I'm going to take my, let's see, I'm going to, I'm going to take my, my number six round, okay? I've got to put some grass in there. I'm going to take some yellow and blue, yellow and blue, make some grass highlights, a little bit lighter color than what's on there. I'm going to come over here to the side. I'm going to come over here to the side, I'm going to just brush it like it's grass. Just brush it right in there. Put some highlights here along the side, fill that in a little bit. Put some more grass here. Okay, now we'll come up here, go over this path a little bit, go right here, so I set that path right in the ground right here instead of sticking out, not sort of buried down in the ground. Clean my brush off. Just rub it in there. Okay, let's uh, let's put some uh, sort of reddish orange for the pumpkin. Going to bring that around here. Do a little highlight. A little bit more red. Put 
from highlighting the pumpkin. More red. More red, yellow. I'm trying to get a, a color here. I, I think my brush is dirty. So I wipe my brush off because I'm not getting a clean color. And that means my brush is dirty. Some more yellow, red. Okay, let's try that. There's a nice orangey color. I'll put a little bit more red in that. A little bit more red and make it orangey color. There. A little bit more red in that. I think that's going to work. I like that. Okay. Maybe, just maybe, I'll take some dark green and maybe I'll wash that one number one brush. Let's wash one brush and let's get that little liner brush. Okay, got the liner brush. I think we're going to put some shadows of the fence into the grass there. So I want to take some dark brown or dark green, maybe a little bit of a black and green, some water. So I want a bit, bit loose. See how it's going to work out. So we're going to put a no. It's going to be dark. Got to be dark. A little bit of a shadow there. We'll go over here, put a shadow here. And I want to make some grasses, okay? I'll put some grasses right here. Some grasses here. And I'll put some over here. And this is a tree right here. Just uh, make some make some long strokes. Make them go anywhere. Then I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna blend the bottom of those, see. Okay, and I'll do the same thing over here. Some water. This is just my liner brush. Make some strokes right here. Strokes right here. Get some more over here. Heck, we'd probably put a few right here. Some along the path. You can do whatever you want with them. You know, it's just sort of just playing around. But it, it's just, I'm sort of having fun. You know, I'm just enjoying it. Now I'm going to take my, I'm going to, 
clean my brush out, get my one inch number one brush, my number one brush, get it wet. I'm going to go down here where the grass is at while it's still wet. And I'm going to bury the bottoms in. See, just by rubbing a wet brush there, you don't see those harsh marks. Now I do the same thing for everywhere I put grass. Right here, see, just blend it right in. Blend that puppy right in there, see? Just blends it. Same here. Go down here. Blend that in a little bit. Of course, that's sort of wet yet. There you go. There you go. Is that wet? Get that off there. And now we can go, let's go, uh, let's get some light in our windows. So I go and get yellow. Get the yellow we got. Get my brush full of yellow. Now this this white paint's got to be dry for this to work, but it should be dry. I might want to get a little bit of a reddish color, a little orangey color like. So I had a little bit of my old paint I had already mixed up, sort of like a yellow orange. And I'll go up here and uh, Right where I had the windows, right over top to white, I just get a little spot. Just going right over that white. That brings that yellow out, see. Just bring it over top, and that's it. Great. Now I want to, I'm going to do is I'm going to take some, uh, get my liner brush again. I'm going to take some brown paint, some brown and some black. Mix it together. We're going to put steps in that castle. Right where the door is going to be at. So here we go. Going to put a step right here. And right across. Gives you an impression there are steps right there, see? Take a little bit more. We can go back right here. Okay, now I'm going to take my little round, number uh, one round, the little one, it's wet a little bit, I'm going to dry it off, and I'm just going to go over top these steps a little bit. Just go over top. Do that white in there. Okay, now I'm going to take some white. I blurred it up a little bit. I'm going to put a platform on those steps, see. That brown acted like a... See? Okay. Now I'll take that brown again because I won't I want make that darker yet. Park there, there. There's some steps. Let that dry. Now I want to put a little, little overhang for the door. I'm going to use some brown and white, just, just, just enough color. There's an overhang on this door right here. There. See that overhang? Then we're going to take some uh, yellow and white, or that orangey color, and put a little window right here at the door. Right there at the door. There you go. Okay, put my mouth in. Mouth there. Okay, I'm gonna take my little, my little uh, number six round. 
I'm going to go up here. I'm going to put some more dark leaves in. So I want to fill this dark in, dark in right here. Put some more dark leaves in. Okay. Got a plan here. That's good. Color wrap. What do you think? Last step, I'm going to sign this puppy. I usually sign my first initial. painting and thanks for joining me and uh, have a good day.